We're talking about electrical furnaces and electrical circuits in general. Anytime I'm troubleshooting an electrical circuit, I'm thinking three things. A source of power, a path, and a load. So a source, a path, and a load. Just over and over in my head. A source, a path, a load. What am I missing in the circuit? I got a source of power. I got line one and line two. I got line one, line two, line one, and line two coming off my breakers. I have a path for that to flow on. So I'm coming out of that to my load. Do I have a good load? And then on the way back, it's coming through a set of contacts and back up into that breaker. So a source of power, a path to flow on, and a load. To check the loads, we're gonna isolate that load using the ohm meter, making sure that it is a good ohm value and a good load for it to energize. We'll also check our overload devices. If we're checking this with the power on, we'll check for voltage to the heater then with an amp clamp, is it pulling amperage? If I have voltage to it and it's not pulling amperage, then the heater is no good. We have to change it out or dig inside, see if it's broken. Same thing with the relay. With the relay, we're gonna have a coil. We have our 24 volt power coming to the coils. Then we have the sets of contacts where we have a normally open set of contacts. We have a normally closed set of contacts. We're gonna check with our voltmeter, Make sure we have voltage coming to the contacts. When they close, we should see that power pass through it. When they open, we should see that open back up. So I'm making sure that the contacts both close and open, making sure it's not stuck. And we'll check our sequencer to make sure that it is stepping everything on and stepping everything back off.